everybody, I'm Toby Pazman and welcome to episode 44 of Toby's Trains. Alright, it's early May 2020 and as you know it's been a long time since episode 43 and my train collection has changed a bit since since then and I I had to sell some of my some of my trains to make room for new additions and I'm going to show you those later in the video. But right now I want to show you a little project I've been working on. Alright, here we are on my Tomy slash Trackmaster slash PlayRail layout. And as you can see I've got a couple of Tomy engines and a PlayRail train out of commission because they're in need of slight repair. The, the, the tires on the drive axle of the, of the engines decided to go bald. In the case of my Playrail N700 Shinkans in here, it's the rubber tires here on the drive axle. The case of the middle car is that the tires are in pretty good shape. Except except this one is starting to go bald. Like right here. It's already gone bald. I'll have to replace that. I ordered the appropriate parts on eBay. They're still yet to come. And that's the same story with the tender of my Tommy Emily here. Is that the the drive the tires on the drive axle wheels went bald, so I removed those. And the same goes for for my Tommy Stepney here. I already removed one of the one of the tires because that one was getting bald. The one on his on Stepney's left side looks in fairly good shape still, considering how old this engine is. It's been years since since PlayRail made a rendition of Stepney. And as you can see, I've already set up some some of my vehicles on my on this layout, like my one of my Hot Wheels DeLoreans here, as well as my Back to the Future time machine here, which is also a DeLorean. The reason I have a collection of DeLoreans is because back in September of 2016, I got to see one in person. As you may recall in a video from, from back then. And a project I worked on this past week was that I exchanged the the drive axle on my Trackmaster 2.0 Hero here. This is the one that I swapped out. 
I took out the drive axle from my Trackmaster 2.0 scruff and removed the wheels on that and and I and I put on the the drive wheels that are on here now. I got the idea from a from from a video I watched from a channel called UC Weapon. Spell it's spelled U C W E P N. I think that's the correct spelling. He did us he did the same with a Trackmaster 2.0 Percy. Eventually, I'd like to get some red paint and and paint these wheels red to match the rest of Hero's driving wheels. Although prototypically, his driving wheels should be black, like the case of my Playrail D51 here, which is the real life version of Hero here. And before I did the dry wheel swap out, I did a little modification on the on the top of the boiler in front of Hero's feed water heater. If you were to flip it on, I don't know if you could see it in the video very well, but there's an operating headlamp, header, or a, a light bulb that lights up. But yeah, with these drive wheels, it, it can run fast and grip the track pretty well. So it can be able to run on my Tomian Trackmaster track without slipping. Eventually, I'm going to do the same treatment with my Trackmaster 2.0 Thomas here. As I'll swap these out. Most times, most times, my 2.0 Thomas here runs just fine pulling Annie and Clarabelle alone. And I'm also eventually going to do that with my Trackmaster 2.0 Gordon. Although I also have a Trackmaster road control three speed Gordon but yeah those are the projects I've been working on on the line L side of things meanwhile my collection has grown since episode 43 I don't know if you saw this in episode 43 but here is my my Lionel Wendy's caboose. It was made by them in 1981 during the MPC period. It's part of Lionel's Fast Food Express train that they made back then. With the locomotive supporting Burger King and the boxcars in the train representing different fast food restaurant chains. And of course this caboose representing Wendy's. Another reason I got this caboose is because I used to work for Wendy's. Even on their 50th anniversary year last year. Another acquisition in my Lionel collection since episode 43 is this Lionel Lion Scale Dundee Cement Two Bay Covered Hopper. As you can see, 
when compared to my my line L C N N W O gauge box car. This hopper is built to scale proportions. Which I think is really nice. And the original tooling of this was from Weaver before they went out of business six years ago. Some of their blueprints went to Atlas while the others went to Lionel. This was the 2018 club car for the Northern Michigan Railroad Club. You had the option of getting this without the yellow lettering here. And you had the option of getting one with the yellow lettering here. As you can see, I got one with the yellow lettering. As you can see, the car number is 4166. I originally ordered 4185, but I'm, I'm not complaining that it's 4166. And, most rec and my most recent Lionel acquisition is a set that dates back from the mid-1920s. It's a Lionel number 92 passenger set. It's the outfit number 92 passenger set. As you can see, it came in the original box. I bought it off the Facebook Marketplace along with the, uh, along with the, uh, <clears throat> along with an American Flyer 1200 series boxcar with sliding doors. Plus extra track and a few accessories. But the set itself featured a 152 electric with a nice bell right here. Plus a couple of passenger cars. Had a 629 Pullman. And a 630 observation car. And it also came with a Type A transformer. You probably didn't see it very well right now, but once I put it on the track and uh, you'll you can get a better look at it. Right here is a better look of of the passenger set. Here's a better look at the 152 electric. As you can see, it's got New York Central lettering. As you can, see, and also you can see it's got red spokes on the wheels. And before you ask, this engine does run, and it's got this nice breath this nice bell the engine itself has nickel trim as you can see on the sides and on the top as you can see there's there's scratches in the paint but but it shows that it's been well loved over the years over the past 95 years the story goes the same for the passenger cars
as you can see, the engine is painted a, in an olive green, whereas the passenger cars are painted in a lighter shade of green. And the doors and the window trim and the name and number plates are painted red. They look like an apple red. Whereas the observation deck on the observation car has has brass trim or is made of brass. And despite the despite the scuffs and scratches in the paint, this engine looks in good shape. Alright, now we're focused on the type A transformer that came in with that came with the set. And as you can see it didn't come with the original wire. My most likely guess is that the original wire was frayed. So the previous owner of the of this set had replaced the power cord. I tested this transformer and it, it still works. Which is nice considering its age. And the nice thing about this throttle here is that it's easy to handle. As you can, as you can see, there are five different speed settings. One being the lowest, and five being the highest here. And as you can see, the power nuts are on, would only be for the track power. As you can see, there's scratches in the paint on this as well. But th to me, that's a sign that it's been well used and well loved over the years. And looking at the builder's plate on this, it shows the data of the transformer, the voltages, and the company that made it, which in this case is the Lionel Corporation of New York. So yeah, all in all, this transformer is in pretty good shape despite the scratches in the paint. Meanwhile, on the HO scale spectrum, you're looking at my latest acquisition. This being CSX GP38 number 2042. This particular model is made by Atlas. And to me, the icing of the cake is that it's equipped with a QSI sound system. And yes, you can run this under DC power. And you may have seen this in previous videos recently. And I already did a product review on this. I wanted to show this in in this blog so yeah it's a pretty nice engine it's a good runner too now as you may may notice I'm wearing a, a new train related shirt as you can see I'm wearing a an Eric's trains shirt this is, shirt is from one of the many inspirations of of this channel uh, so I want to give a shout out to Eric Siegel of Eric's trains for for this shirt I won this shirt in a in a giveaway that he did in a in his recent live video so I want to thank him for for this shirt it's it's really nice all right, I'm going to wrap up this blog video by showing my my new acquisitions and 
as well as my Trackmaster 2.0 Hero in action. So, yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. I am Toby Pazman. I will see you next time. God bless.